Tigo Bates, half Orange Street. And um, like I mentioned earlier, my aunt passed away from cerv cervical cancer and I feel like uh, it shouldn't happen. A lot of people in places like Jamaica are you know, dying early or going through serious complication from things like these that are very preventable. So my office is that I would like to um, provide these services, especially the colposcopy if they have um, a positive uh, pap smear and abnormal pap smear. And um, important to me, I just feel like that we shouldn't be in this time be having these issues. And a lot of time is because one, people are not educated educated on what um, HPV is, what pap smears are for, and how it can save your life. And I also, I also want to be able to um, provide a lot of education to the, to the women of Jamaica, especially the young girls. I want to um, advocate for them to get the vaccine to help prevent um, HPV infection turning into cervical cancer. I just want to spread awareness on what cervical cancer is, how do you take care of yourself, how do you get screening, and I want them to have a place that they can come to and know that there will be um, a, a safe haven, a continuous um, place to follow up. So in the terms of Jamaica, um, the, the health system is a little bit different, it's structured a little bit different. Friend. And I know that you said in some cases you would like to offer it, you know, free in terms of getting these these um, specimen tested. You know, there's a cost to that and somebody has to pay that cost. And if it's going to go into the public sector part of the L, never get that result back within a yes. year or so. There, so you're pretty much going to be using private labs to get these. Yes, I, I will be probably using private labs, but there's things that I will be working out with people because I'm trying to make a part of the, this as a nonprofit. So I'll be working out some, um, working out how to get some of these screening done for free, you know. And, you know, more people out there, Cheryl, that want to help than you could even imagine. Yes. Not always about the money. I mean, I am putting up my own money to do this in Jamaica. I did get a lot of donations from a doctor um, that's closing her practice here. I got a lot of, I can't even tell you how blessed I am. And because of that, I know that I'll be able to get um, some of the labs to donate some of their services. I also want to do health fear. So I have a lot of physicians who are willing to come down, you know, I'm not sure how, maybe once a year I'll be doing this. I haven't gotten to that part yet, but they're willing to come down and, and help me to take care of these patients. So those are some of the things that I'll be working on. And I already have in contact with some labs. Um, we just have to work on the logistics, but I'm pretty sure that everything is going to be okay and we're going to be able to offer some of these services for free. That's my goal. And I know it's going to happen. And also a recommendation is looking at the statistics of cervical cancer in Jamaica, you know, the death rate and um, the, the infection rate and presenting that information to the Minister of Health to see if they, they can, can assist, yes. donate some, um, some funds to a nonprofit organization and to see if they can help in that area to have women in that part of the island get screening. And even not just that part of the island, people can leave from Kingston as well because the, the distance is now shorter. Because yeah, of the with the highways highway, and everything, it is shorter. Maybe two, three hours and you're in Montego Bay. They do it all the time to go to party. <laughs> so they can get it, do it to get their pop smear done. Absolutely. Ex exactly. It's not like, oh, it's a, it's a part of the island that's not accessible to them. Mm -hmm. It is. I wish you all the best with this venture. I think it's a very, very good thing. And it's it's for a purpose, you know, for a cause. And I really want you to reach out to the women who really need it. I'm not everyone need this, you know, everybody needs this screening. What age should a woman start screening for? We are age 21. And, and we'll, when do you we'll stick with that because the you know, usually a lot of people aren't having sex before that. And even if they do, sometimes the HPV virus goes away on its own when they're younger. But as soon as they get to 21 and older, that's when the recommended age is for to start the screening. So we'll, we'll I'll stick to those guidelines, you know. Um, and like I said, because it can be costly, I'll try to minimize the cost. However, try to make sure that 
everybody, you know, everybody get a chance, a fair chance to, to, um, to get access to the care. Now, like I said, education is very important. And I think I'm going to be focusing a lot on educating the young girls as to what pap smears are, because a lot of them have never heard the term pap smear before. They don't know what it is. They don't know where you get it from, what happened. They have no idea what it is. They don't know what HPV is, you know. So I want to do a lot of education. And I think by doing a lot of education, you get the word out and people are more aware of um, the causes and how this can affect them moving forward. Is there an age when you stop screening? They say 65. But if it's an active 65 years old, I'm going to still screen. Okay, okay. Great. Because some women at 65, they're still having fun. Okay. Um, how can anybody reach you if they need to donate to your cause or help? I you? will be putting up all that information soon. I don't have all that information together at the moment because we're not open yet, but I will be putting out those information on my page as soon as it comes available. In terms of if they want to reach out to you before it's open, what if they want to help you with the whole process? Is there a, a way to contact you? There's an email that I can pin in this video. Absolutely. It's okay. nfung edwards, n as in Nancy, F-O-N-G, edwards with an S at gmail.com. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Nancy, and good luck. This is Dr. Morgan with L Talk. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you, Dr. Morgan, for having me. You're welcome. Bye.